Facebook allows you to advertise your products or services directly through to people on their platform. And even better, you can retarget those people on Facebook that have previously interacted with your website or Facebook ads. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. And if we're meeting for the first time, then my name's Stuart and I'm glad you could join us in today's video. Now in this retargeting Facebook ads tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your own retargeting Facebook ads so that you can retarget website visitors. Now, today we want to retarget people or potential customers on Facebook that have recently visited our website and show an interest in our products or services. Okay guys, now just quickly before we dive right into this tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's dive into our Facebook Ads Manager. <music> Okay guys, so here we are on our Facebook Ads Manager on one of the ad accounts that we are managing. Now to arrive at your Facebook Ads Manager, all you need to do is navigate over to your business tools under your ads account and then just click on Ads Manager and that's going to take you to this dashboard. Now just quickly before I show you how to create a retargeting audience, if you're unfamiliar with your Facebook ads account or your ad account in general, then this tutorial is not for you. This is more advanced for those that want to create a retargeting ad. So if you're unfamiliar with your Facebook ads account, then I recommend you watch this tutorial up above, which will guide you through how to get started with Facebook ads. And then once you've completed that Facebook ads tutorial for beginners, then you can jump back into this tutorial. Okay, so first things first, what we need to do before we can actually go ahead and create a retargeted Facebook ad and target visitors that have recently been on our website is we need to install the Facebook Pixel. So if you haven't already done this, then I recommend clicking the tutorial up above which will show you how to add and install the Facebook Pixel onto your Shopify store. Now this is for Shopify stores, however if you're using another website builder then the process is very similar. So go ahead and watch that tutorial if you haven't already installed the Facebook pixel on your website. So what we're going to do is navigate over to business tools and then come down to events manager and under events manager is where you should be able to find your pixel if you've got it installed on your website. And as you can see, under our events manager, we already have a pixel installed. Now a pixel, a Facebook pixel, is basically a bit of code that's installed on your website and it tracks all the activity happening on your website. It tracks the people landing on specific pages, clicking specific buttons, purchasing, adding information. Basically, your Facebook pixel gathers all the data from the people visiting your website. And what you can do is retarget those people, but you need to have the Facebook pixel installed for you to create custom audiences and start retargeting those people that have visited your website. So as you can see, this pixel is live and we've had a lot of people visiting this website over the last 28 days. Now again, like I said, if you don't already have a Facebook pixel, then I recommend watching the tutorial up above and that will guide you through the process. It's very straightforward and simple to initially add the Facebook pixel to your website. Okay, so now that you're familiar with your Facebook ads account and you have your Facebook pixel installed on your website, now what we want to do is create a retargeted audience. And to do that, we need to create a custom audience. So what we want to do is navigate over to business tools and then come down here till you find audiences. And as you can see, we've already created multiple audiences for this ad account. So what we want to do is go ahead and create an audience. So click create audience, then come down and click custom audience. Now lookalike audience is something we're going to talk about in another tutorial. And we're going to guide you through how to create a lookalike audience. However, in this tutorial, we're just going to focus on custom audience. 
And under use your sources, what we want to do is hover over website. And as you can see, what we want to do is create an audience based on your website visitors from your Facebook pixel. So remember, we've installed our Facebook pixel. What our Facebook pixel is doing is gathering data about our visitors. Now what we can do is actually target those visitors that have landed on our website in the past. So to do that, we're just going to click website and then come down here and make sure that you have your pixel selected. So make sure this is the pixel that you wanna use the data from to create a retargeted audience. Then once you have your pixel selected here, come down to all website traffic. And this is where Facebook gives you the option to target specific visitors. So for example, it could be visitors on your website that activated the add to cart. They may be purchased from your website or maybe they viewed content or viewed a particular page. Now, because this is a beginner's tutorial, what we wanna do is actually target all website visitors. So I'm gonna select all website visitors. Then you can come over here and for example, if you selected people that purchased on your website, then you could include more people. For example, you could include people that added a product to cart or that viewed a specific product or service page. Then you can also exclude specific people, but I'm happy with targeting all website visitors. Now I can choose over the past 30 days or I can expand this if I like. I recommend sticking to 30 days because this is a relevant number because this is going to target fresh visitors that have recently been on your website. There's no point going 90 days plus or 60 days plus because those people maybe forgot about your brand or aren't interested in your products or services anymore. So keep it fresh, keep it 30 days. Then come down to name your audience and here you just want to quickly name your audience. So here you want to make sure that your name is relevant to your audience. That way you're not going to get confused when you go ahead and create an ad and select this audience. So you want to make sure that it is relevant to the audience you're creating. Just like we have here, retargeting all website traffic, 30 days. I'm happy with that. Then you can come over here and add a description if you like. But we're going to leave that for now and come down and click create audience. And congratulations, just like that, you have created your first custom audience. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we have created a retargeted audience. We can now retarget those that have visited our website in the last 30 days. Now, it might take a few minutes for Facebook to essentially populate your request, your audience. And once that's done, you can actually go ahead and target that audience. So what we can do now is either come down here and create an ad or we can click done and then navigate over to business tools and then come down to ads manager up here. And now to create an ad that targets the audience we just created, all we need to do is come down and click create. Now in this tutorial, we're not actually gonna guide you through how to create a Facebook ad from start to finish because we've already created a Facebook ads tutorial for beginners up above which we talked about in the beginning. Again, I'll link that up above which you can use to create your Facebook ad. However, what I'm gonna do is show you where you can actually select your custom audience, your retargeted audience that you just created within the ads creation process. So we're gonna quickly click on traffic and then come down and click continue. And then if we navigate up to ad set, under the ad set level is where you can select your custom audience. All you need to do is come down to audience when you're creating your ad. Remember, watch the tutorial up above which will guide you through this entire process. And when you get to audiences, all you need to do is come down to custom audiences and select the custom audience, so the retargeted audience that you just created. As you can see, we just created this one, retargeting all website visitors, 30 days, and then just select that audience and then rather than creating an audience down here like I show you in the tutorial up above you can actually just target this audience here which is our retargeting audience and follow this entire process and create and launch your ad so remember follow the tutorial up above which is called Facebook ads tutorial and that's going to show you how to create your first Facebook ad from start to finish and when you get to audience just make sure you select your custom audience here and that is all there is to it, to creating a custom audience. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's retargeting Facebook ads tutorial for beginners. This should help you get started with retargeting visitors 
on your website. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.